Hey, this is Roger with Draw Capons. Just want to take a moment and show you the uh, hot water heater that we're just about to put out. Now, this is something that, that we'll probably give plans for also, but you can find plans on the internet to build something similar. Uh, this is not our invention or anything like that. It's just something we build for folks that, that don't have the tools uh, uh, or the, the area to actually build something like this to get it done for you. That way you can get it put in use pretty quick. Uh, we've just put it into a uh, basically a rectangle IBC looking fish tank uh, for this up here you'll see this black area this little black thing that's that's the knob for changing the temperature uh, and these are adjustable from in the 40s on up to uh, we, we've got up to 94 one time and then shut it down because we didn't want to hurt the fish and that was in the middle of winter um, this thing just attaches to the side of your your fish tank it's got an arm you see here on the outside that comes down with a plug on the end of it. There will probably be a little extra cord hanging out there. That way you can get a hold of it and plug it in uh, and, and work with it that way. Uh, then on the inside, and it's not shown here, but there will be a, uh, a thermostat that hangs out into your water. Uh, that, that way you can actually control that water temperature. And that thermostat, is uh, it's made of copper, but it will be sealed in a, uh, a clear paint that way and it's a non-toxic paint so not going to hurt the fish or the plants or yourselves but we don't want that that bare copper being in the system so we uh we get those painted before we use them anyway look down in there and you can see the end of it Let's see if i can get this to work right there you go and we've originally we had the the thermostat in a little box that would attach out here somewhere and it, it just seemed very clumsy and easy to tear up so we've decided to build on the top of this heater a housing to hold that. Um, overall, the, the height of this thing is about 30 inches. Um, from this point right here over into here is around 6 inches, and then the outside is probably going down 20 inches to give you some way to attach this to tie it off to the tank so it's not moving around. And we will typically put these right in the corner. That way you get a little extra support. Um, they're not going to go anywhere, but uh, that's that's basically how they hook up. And then we're, we're also going to put, I hadn't taken the time to draw it yet, but we'll, we'll have a cover over this heating element. That way your fish can't get to it. So if you have uh, fairly small fish, it'll, they'll be safe around it. Now, it's not going to be small enough for fry. So if you've got little tiny fry that you're putting in, you may want to put them somewhere else. Uh, because this, this element will be hot enough to actually cook them if they get on it. Uh, big fish, it, it, they'll touch it and move away from it. But the really small fry, uh, they, they will tend to get into it and get burned. Anyway, that's it. I hope this helps you folks, and we'll get this posted on the website pretty quick. Uh, that way you can have a look and uh, see if you're interested in one.